last five minutes. He goes, oh, I get the corner. Maybe I can shoot about 10, 12 in a row. He'd get back in his game in a hurry. Well, he's now, he's 6 of 10. At the charity strike. Oklahoma's last field goal at the 13-33 mark. We've got 8.31 to go. They've only got two field goals in this first half. And only down seven. Yeah. And the ball. Last eight points for Oklahoma have come from the line, and the crowd here at the Irwin Center now on their feet, trying to get this Texas team motivated. I think the crowd helps you defensively more than offensively. Today. I don't think there's any doubt. It get, gets you motivated, gets you to want to move your feet and play defense. Nice pass in the top. Beautiful. That and was... Stone can't get it to go. Roger, there's a lid on the, there's a lid on the goal. <laughs> now, how do you miss that one? It, I think it's bad karma is what it is. It's... That looked like it was in and then spun around and went out. Drakes is 34. He's in there along with Clark now and Smith. And Chico Vasquez and Luke Axtell, the outstanding freshman who's averaging over 15 points a game, has not scored yet. Look at Smith throws that up. And Stone comes away with it. And here comes Oklahoma down by seven. Brewer pull up three-point land. Won't go. And Smith the rebound. Axtell, beautiful fake. So lean in. The, the little pump fake yeah. and knock it down from 20, 22 feet. Nice pass inside. High to low. Oh, Wiley finally gets it to go. Uh, it's hard to defend. I like entering the ball from the point. Difficult to give weak side help when you go straight high to low. First goal and first score in, in a while. It's uh, thir the 13-33 mark, so it's 6.51. Well, they may be on yeah. the run here, Roger. As Brewer slams it down. So Corey Brewer with 10. And now it's a six-point game with 6.38 left to go first half from Austin. Man, hey, look at all the Oklahoma guys. Now they're, they're getting into it. Nice throw. Look at the steal again. Yeah. Beautiful. Renzai Stone with it. Axel from behind. And... Now let's give Oklahoma a compliment here. They had a chance to, to fold the 10 early. The ball was not going in. And they said, you know, we're going to start playing some defense. And Renzi Stone, and when you like about this, here's a guy that's on the left side of the floor, uses his left hand, a big man, all the way down the floor, uses his left, brings it up on the window, gets the goal, draws the foul, has an opportunity now for a three-point play. And guess what? Oklahoma's going to close this to three. Jones is a 6'10 sophomore from Tulsa, Oklahoma, and he's one of the players, along with Allison, that has been seen considerable playing time. He played 40 minutes uh, in the last game, and he's, he's been in that 14 to 15 minute range. Well, that's a violation if he, if he misses his free throw. Uh, that's not too soon, so it didn't matter. Stone completes the three point play in the studio and pulls it within four. Make it three here in Austin. College basketball here in Austin, Texas, as the Longhorns lead the Sooners by three, and ABC's coverage of college hoops is online. Test your hoops knowledge with team quizzes and the where are they now? Search for former stars, all in America online, keyword ABC Sports. Oklahoma on a 9-2 run over the last two minutes and five seconds, and uh, Corey Brewer with uh, 10 points, the 10th OU player to reach 1,000 points in the first two seasons, and has gone past Brent Price in that category. Congratulations to Corey. I mean, he is a prolific scorer. In and out. And here comes Oklahoma with Johnson. Sahara can't get it to go, and Clark brings it down. And you can see Eduardo Grimace as he came down the floor that time. Yeah, didn't finish like he normally does, Roger. He did not, doesn't have the explosiveness uh, with, the, with the bad ankle. Vasquez is trying to set things up outside. You know, Smith is trying to post up Johnson inside. And the two bigger guys are handling the ball out top with six on the shot clock. Clack leans in, and he hits it. He made a tough shot. He had a mismatch. His man did switch off. First two for Chris Clack, who's averaging over 16 points on the season. Nahara at the other end. 
and knocked out of bounds. See some other scores here on the uh, Payne Weber scoreboard. Kansas, a uh, winner over Missouri today in Lawrence, a Big 12 action. Good game in the A-10 with Xavier and UMass. Uh, it should be a very good contest. Okay. And a whistle away from the ball. That yeah, looks like a, a mouthpiece or a object that is thrown over to the side. Nahara will inbound it right in front of our broadcast position. Be cognizant of the clock now. You've only got about 13 seconds left on the 35. Recognize, good move and attack. They love to run that on the out of bounds. Run Nahara round screen, bring him right to the low block and let him work. But well defended that time in a half court by Texas. Well, that was uh, one of the best defensive players, Vasquez, who's all defensive Big 12 last year. As less than 10 on the shot clock. Nahara takes it inside the scoop, and it's going to be an offensive foul. And he is, he's struggling with that foot. Very solid play defensively as uh, Nahara takes it strong on the baseline, and good defensive play to stand in there and accept the foul, and Nahara's got to be a little bit more under control in that situation, but the shot clock was winding down. Neither team shooting particularly well. Texas just 38% from the floor and just two of seven from three-point land. Oklahoma just 29% as Mim working on Stone. Yeah, I like him attacking Roger instead of fading away. Right. I think Mim, when he receives it, is so tough to handle. And let's face it, they're playing right behind, so why not take it in? But that sets up the fadeaway then. Sure, it, it yeah. may set up the fadeaway. And the other thing it will do, it will force Oklahoma to maybe drop a guy down, and then Mim has to look for the outside player behind the arc. Mim just 59% from the free throw line. Man, the line. Two shots. Mim with six points so far on the day. As Axtell, the uh, other freshman. Mim and, of course, Axtell were high school teammates and committed to Texas during their junior year of high school. That must be comforting. <laughs> Probably <laughs> comforting for the, but for the kids, too. You sure know? it is. Oh, sure it is. Takes a lot of pressure from the recruiting standpoint off the shoulders. So Mim perfect three out of three from the foul line, and... Closing in on the four and a half mark here in the first half. 28-21, seven point Texas lead. Naha Rock kicks it back to Stone. Brewer, once again, that's a third block today for the seven foot freshman. Axtell thought about it. Still thinking about it. The spin, the turn. He thinks about it, continues to think about it, and says, you know what, I'm going to shoot it, <laughs> regardless well, think, of what the situation is. I, I think he had his mind made up early on that play. Yes, he did. Good defense by Nahara, staying right with him, not fouling, holding position. Now the trap. Texas is going to show a little trap, come out and double. I think Nahara's got to look for a shot. He's been open, very unselfish. He's passed up some open opportunity jumpers. And the call inside. Foul's going to be on Mim. That's his second. When Mim gets his third block shot, and he comes from the weak side to give some help. And he has that ability to block shots and to keep them in play. A lot of guys block shots and try to knock them out of bounds. Mim just tap blocks them and allows his teammates to recover and start the fast break. So Evan Wiley at the line, just a 55% free throw shooter. As Manecki, with 11 points and four rebounds, checks back into the game. It, did you notice on that replay how Axtell let his high school uh, teammate go up and get the block when he yes. actually could have had Yes, it? he did. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Mim, you, you can have this one. I think I'll just kind of hold position and start retreating toward the offensive end. Pumping the numbers. Still man-to-man -man by the Sooners. But not with Mim out of the lineup. I mean, uh, Oklahoma can extend pressure. Another steal. Hey, Brewer's smart. He, he yeah. wants an intent. He's saying, look, you know, the guy did not play the ball. He wants intentional. He will not get it. But uh, Corey Brewer, his quickness and agility 
gets the steal and uh, goes to the line. Foul was on Maneki, and that's his third. So Texas has got some foul problems. Perryman with three and Maneki with three. And, and Corey Brewer, who has been living at the free throw line so far. Corey Brewer 